What's up guys, it's Brandon, also known as Luke, and this is the third time recording this episode. I am about to murder Fraps, like, oh my word. Okay, let me go ahead and go into something so you guys can probably actually hear me, because Fraps is stupid, and Fraps likes to record every single little stinking detail. Mm. Yes, I'm not going into our normal zoo, because we are changing zoos on the new year, according to a unanimous vote right now of Gamer K, so... If you don't want me to go to another one, now's your time to speak up. Um, but yeah. Oh my word, I'm about to... Ugh. Ugh. So okay, first time around, trying to record with Fraps. Fraps doesn't record my microphone, and guess what it decides to do? It decides to split up the video in every four megabytes or something, whatever it is that it's already preset to when you first get Fraps. Yeah, and thanks to that loveliness, that last time was what caused the glitchiness that was in the videos where we were still here, where it was like you would have this black screen of death. Yeah. That's what, uh, that's what that was from. So, that loveliness happened, but then, now, just now, I tried recording an episode, and, um, it just decided to go ahead and boot me out, like, completely out of the program. Stop recording and everything. So this might actually be a very short episode today, guys, because we really... <laughs> I am at the end of my level of patience. <laughs> but also because, really, we don't have anything to do until, you know, uh, we get back up... Oh, my word. Somebody destroyed fences. Um, until we get back around to... Uh, Creating the new zoo on the new year. Ay -ay -ay. Okay, so. Thankfully, this one is square. I'm just doing this just because I can. I mean, like, I don't really need to at all. Where's the other one? I think he's in there. Yeah, right there. Okay. So, yeah. We've had some very, very exciting happenings. Um, and I am rather ticked. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. We have had lots of comments, though. I appreciate everybody's comments. I appreciate Gamer K with his usual being our Zutakun Guru. And, um... <laughs> also, I'm sorry to hear that, like... Okay, I got several feedback from what people have done. Some people have some awesome Christmases. Some people have had some not-so-awesome Christmases. But it's been fun. Um, and I'm so sorry, K, that you're sick again. That is just... That's awful that you're, like, sick all the time. Oh, I can't even begin to imagine how bad that is. And we're back in debt again. Anywho, but yeah. Oh, let me just look back over the comments. This is like my third time doing this. As I said, I am like at my wit's edge. So let's go ahead and start going through the comments while uh, doing this video, because this video is not going to be very long. I'm probably only going to do it for, for about uh, 10 minutes, because I don't really feel like going through all this again. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, let's see here. So first of all, we've got Gamer K. Um, <laughs> she says, first of all, that I lost the guy that I was following. Yes, and it happened in the last episode that I tried to record. I found him, and I tried to get the picture, but of course, stuff went completely awry, so, yeah, loveliness there. Um, of course, she says that she's sick, which is horrible. I hope that you get feeling better soon, Kay. Best of wishes, best of wishes of getting well, blah, 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 from all of us, um, to you. Um, let's see, then she's got a, um... Okay, and then her suggestion that she has is that, um, 
Starting on the new year, I should try animals that I haven't used before, which is actually what I've been doing every single time that I've been starting over like this. Um, every time, except for on this one with the dodos, and in the last one with um, the zebras. Those are the only two animals that I've ever used in zoos. All the other ones are completely new to me. I have never used them before. You guys are ridiculous. I'm not even going to pay attention to that. Oh, because I didn't put the... Mm, okay, that makes sense. Hold up. Oh, I'm still in debt. <laughs> eh, whatever. They'll just have to starve and die. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, that's what I plan to do for the new zoo. I plan to put um, completely new creatures in. Ones that I haven't used. Um, let's see. And she would like for me to uh, get some wolves in the next zoo. And name a female after her. Sure, I'll do that, Kay. Um, I don't know when you get the wolves, though. So that might be a bit of a problem. Yeah, I know. I'm in debt right now. I can't do anything about it. Um, but, yeah. I, I don't know when you get the wolves. So if you know when I can get the wolves, like what stars I have to reach or something, then we can make that a goal, is to put in K into the game, to uh, name a wolf after K. So that's K's comment. Definitely looking forward to it. Biocoder. Um, I don't know your name, I don't know if that's what you want to be called, but um, he was, did the Roboraptor thing, which I am so happy that he gave me the name to that, because I cannot remember that thing for the life of me. Um... Moving on, we've got Tyler, um, who talked about getting Zoo Tycoon 2 for Christmas in elementary school. I remember, okay, what, was I in elementary school? I think I was too, when I first got Zoo Tycoon. Was I? Yeah, because it was at the old house, so I would have still been in elementary, no? Maybe that was the point where I got homeschooled, where I was like in fifth grade or something. I can't remember. Um, and he talks about his first exhibits in freeform mode were giraffe and jaguars that killed each other, manatees that died because he didn't know how to use the water filter. Oh my word. Yeah, that sounds like my first deal. What did I have? I had the, um, the horses or whatever they were. Um, the wild horses. I can't <laughs> pronounce the first name that we have for that. Um, yeah, I know we're in debt. I can't do a thing about it, as I said before. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, that sounds a lot like mine. What did I have? I had lions. Excuse me. And, um, what else did I have? I had zebras, lions, the wild horse, peacocks, polar bears, and something else. I can't remember. And that was in unlimited mode, too. So... Oh, that loveliness of building that zoo. That was fun. Um, ice core. Um, they talked about their tradition that they have in Belgium where they sit around um, the table and eat food and give presents, which I think is awesome. That's a great idea. Always a great idea to do something over food, you know. Food is life. <laughs> um, let's see. Then we've got Michael, who is thanking us for... Uh, um, or thanking me for naming the Carnotaur on his uh, suggestion, after his suggestion, blah. Which, hey, no problem. If you guys give name suggestions, I am going to use them. If you mention an animal ants in specific with a name, then I will definitely do it. Which he didn't. He did more like uh, the next prehistoric animal, which I chose the Carnotaur for. Um... Huh. So, one, he, uh, I didn't actually get to read this comment. Hmm, I didn't know if this one was there. Um, I'm sorry for just standing still here. This episode is literally just going to be me talking. Um, he says that, uh, if an animal is dying, you can kind of give it a second life by putting it in a crate and then releasing it again. That might work. Um... Let's see, what else? I think that's it. That's the most recent comments that I've gotten. Um, so that's that comment-wise. Comment-wise. Um, 
on another note. Ay. Whew. Let's see. Well, let's go over the stuff that I discussed in the last one. Um, I think it's rather interesting now how YouTube has changed and um, progressed. I know I'm coming. I like I just barely have money, but I can't do a thing right now. Let's see how much does that cost? One sixty. I have to wait. Um. Oh, come on, we're getting close. Okay, that's one. And I'll get you next. But anyway, uh, one thing I wanted to discuss in the last video was, um... YouTubers. YouTubers in general. And, um... Kind of their rise to what they became, and then myself. Um, there is a lot of stuff that I've noticed. Uh, one thing is that one thing I wanted to blah, wanted blah, 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 blah. <laughs> one thing I wanted to talk about was uh, in the past what um, people would do with their YouTube channels, and one being um, uh, what was it? Wow, I completely... Oof. Oh yeah, okay. So if you remember the old YouTube layout, you could have like modules and stuff, and you could have like the About Me, and a lot of people in that, they would put like their subscriber goal thing. And uh, what brings us up is the other day we reached 333 subscribers, which is awesome. <laughs> um, and I just, I thought back to when um, people would have like um, their... Oh, Lewis, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Ugh, wow, I am, like, derping so hard. It's probably just from all the frustration and already saying all this stuff. I don't like to repeat myself. <laughs> but anyway, um... How they used to have, like, those little counters or whatever, and it reminded... It was just like, I don't know, it felt like such a milestone to reach 333, when, like, before, I had, like, what? 150 or something? And I did, like, my giveaway, my, subs my subscriber giveaway... Or whatever. Um, which, yeah, I may do again at some point. Um, in which case, I would say that uh, if you... Okay, so if I'm doing a giveaway like that, what I would probably do is I would say subscribe. And once we reach, like, maybe um, 500 or 1,000 subscribers, I'll give away a free copy of Zoo Tycoon Unlimited, which would be... Uh, unfortunately for that, I would need the person's address, because I don't, I would give them a physical copy, it wouldn't be a, uh, you know, uh, oof, ah, derping, an online copy of Zoo Tycoon, since I know that a lot of, uh, the fans on here, a lot of you guys like Zoo Tycoon, and I don't know if a lot of you actually have it, um, but yeah, you know what, I think that's what I'll do, either, at, well, maybe both, maybe just, like, each time that we reach like a gigantic milestone, like 500 subscribers, a thousand subscribers, um, I don't know. Uh, maybe I should just like give out a free copy of Zoo Tycoon or whatever game people want that I've played or something. I know that Zoo Tycoon is my most popular series. <laughs> All my other stuff kind of went. <laughs> um, <laughs> which is kind of sad to me, and I know that it's because my audio and the game's audio are always fighting. Which is lovely. But for Zoo Tycoon, thankfully, I can be loud enough that I can be over the game itself. But, um, yeah. You know, I think that's what I'll do. That, uh... So, you'd have to be subscribed to enter into the giveaway. And the giveaway would happen when we reached 500 subscribers. It would, uh... Clean it up. Fine, I'll clean it. Um, yeah, so, free copy of Zoo Tycoon for, uh, once we reach 500 subscribers and then 1,000 subscribers, and we'll just keep on going on milestones like that. I don't know. Because, honestly, when you reach a milestone like that, like, even when I reached my 333, 
it wasn't like I felt, oh yay, I have reached this. It was more like, oh yay, we have a, as a community has reached this. And um, it's very touching and very, I don't know, it's very, hmm, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of weird. It's like, it's very moving to know that, okay, let's see. How many people are in my store that I work at right now currently? Probably less than 300, but almost 300, maybe? No, no, less, less. Maybe around 200. Um, no, because we have 20 there, 20 there. Yeah, maybe about 200. Um, yay. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of cool because then you're like, wow, okay, we all got in here because... When you become, I know, this, this just kind of like came to me when I was uh, thinking the other day. It was like one of those shower moments where you're in the shower and you're just like, oh, I've had this revelation. <laughs> um, but yeah, but it just kind of came to me that like when you become a YouTuber, like a hardcore YouTuber, and you're putting out like one video a day or whatever, and you're starting to build a community, you're really building a community of people who have the same interests as you. Which, I don't know, that just kind of like blew my mind when I thought about it. I was like, oh, wow. So when you when you have a YouTube channel, you're like, you're recording stuff basically for yourself, kind of. Or people that have the same interests as you. Which is actually, okay, if you think about it, like, okay, picture walking into a room and it's filled with 333 people, but they all like the same thing that you do. It's like, it's this one connecting factor that's really awesome. <clears throat> for all of us, it apparently for right now is... Bugger all. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Wow, that made me completely forget. Um, I don't know. And like, just think about that. Okay, that's like um, just walking into like a big conference room or something. And like everybody there has like, you know, is on this computer. And they're all have like Zoo Tycoon there. And everybody's like sharing their stories about Zoo Tycoon. It's just like, I don't know. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Or, like, I know that some may have subscribed for, like, Pokemon or something. It's, like, I don't know. It's it's really interesting just because it's, like, okay, let's see. What games have I posted on my channel and people have watched? Brothers, Pokemon, Zoo Tycoon. Uh, Dear Esther is kind of a hit or miss. Um, that's all I've got on my channel. That's it. Um, but, yeah, it's just it's a very neat thing, like, to think about. To just walk into a room and have 300 people that are just, like, Oh, hey, I like that, too. And then, like, you know, kind of hitting it off, kind of. I mean, I know that most people don't think about that, but, like, in the comment section, like, on YouTube videos, like, think about it. Think about the big YouTubers that you're subscribed to and think about their comment sections. That's kind of like walking into the conference room, like I said before, and talking to all those people and saying, hey, this happened or this happened. Now, in the video, you've got of course, the person who's kind of directing things, so it's like, it's like having a common ground while you're having this, like, meeting of each other, and, but there's this one person who's, like, the head over the event or whatever, and you've got him that's kind of directing stuff, and then from there, people's thoughts and their actions and what they want to say and comment and other stuff like this, um... And they just kind of stream off from where that person leads. It's um, it's a very interesting concept to think about, which I never thought about it before. Maybe some of you did. Like my brother, when I told him that, he was like, duh. <laughs> but yeah, but I never really thought about it like that. I think it was because I was kind of stuck on the fact that it's like, oh yeah, they're just this person and I want to watch their videos and stuff. But what you don't really realize sometimes with that is I think that we separate ourselves from the rest that are watching, and instead of forming a, uh, a community, we start forming kind of this own little singular feeling about it. Like, I'm just watching this person and it's this personal connection with me and them, which is very true. I have a very personal connection with all of you guys, but at the same time, we all should have this sort of connection with ourselves and knowing that we all like the same things, um, which is why, um, I think it's interesting when people who are on my channel, I'm not involved in the conversation, but they still will comment or they'll comment to me or somebody else. And they'll start talking about stuff, which is very, nope. 
which is very interesting. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the video off here. I appreciate all of your attention. Please be sure to leave a like or dislike down below, letting me know how everything's going, how stuff is doing with the videos, and hey, if you agree with my thoughts on the fact that right now, when you're watching this, there are other people that are watching this, and they have the same opinions as you, that they like this and they want to see more of it. Um, and really in the comment section, when you comment, um, of course I always comment, but you guys, you know, if you want to, you could comment to other people. I'm sure that they wouldn't mind, like, striking up a conversation or something. I know that most of the time the comments are directed at me, but hey, if you want to, start up a conversation there, like, talk to each other down there. Because... That's the way that you connect. That's the way that we build a community where we can tell each other about stuff and communicate and support each other. And like, okay, let's take for instance Gamer K. I know that I'm supposed to be ending off the video, but I'm going to keep on going because I'm rambling. Um, Gamer K, she has said that she wants to record stuff and become a gamer on YouTube, which, hey, you want to know something? I'm going to give her my full support when she starts up. If she starts up, I don't know when she hasn't told me anything. But, you know, I'd want to give her my full support. And I would want for you guys to come along and help me with that too. Because she's been here the, well, within the past, like, what, three weeks or something that I've been doing this again. Um, and, you know, she's been helping, you know, the channel out. She's been helping us out um, with this. I mean, like... Really, come on, guys. I would not have advanced as far as I did without her help. But, yeah. But, like, when she starts up, um, already having these connections here, if you think about it, we're all already um, paying attention to this. So, if she's putting out videos like this, then, hey, you might as well go ahead and go check it out because she's a part of the same community that you are. We're all a part of this community that's, like, a Perion. Um, and, really, that's what I did when I designed the name. When I designed a Perion... Really, I stole it from uh, a Game Boy hack of Pokemon that I was making. But um, when I designed a Perion, I designed it to be not so much of a name for me, although it is kind of a name for me. Um, because if you notice, in my outro, in my intro, I say this is a Perion, also known as Luke. And it's more of a title. It's less of a, oh, go ahead and know me as that. But of course, you know, people will know other people's real names, but they'll still use the, uh, the name that they put up online. But I designed it kind of a com as a kind of community name where people can kind of come under the, uh, not the ruse, but like the, uh, the blanket, per se, of a Perion and kind of, uh, have it represent whatever they want it to, because that is what a Perion needs. And we're getting tons of complaints. This is why I exited from this zoo in the first place. But anyway, this is going to be a Perion, also known as Luke, signing off. Please be sure to comment down below. Hey, start up a conversation. Like I said, you know, um, do whatever you guys want. I know that I said that this would be a short video, but I just started rambling and rambling and rambling and rambling and, you know, all this stuff. But um, please be sure to comment down below with, like, you know, whatever you're wanting to say. Because, uh... Honestly, I'm sure that all of us would love to hear any sort of comment that you have. And would uh, love to reply, because I know that several times I've, like, you know, said stuff about, oh yeah, hey, you know, don't um, comment rudely or do all this other stuff. But, I mean, honestly, if you've got an opinion and you want to share it, share it with us. And I encourage everybody else, hey, if you want to, reply to other people. Some of those comments aren't directed at just me. They can be directed at others. But, um... Yeah. It's, uh... It's very interesting. Seeing the growing of a community, really. Thank you. Sorry, thumbnail. But, uh, yeah. Also, please be sure to subscribe if you like the content that I have been putting out. And if you like the, uh, hey, the community around us and growing that and stuff, go ahead and subscribe. Become a part of the family. Become a part of, ooh, ouch. Um, <laughs> ooh, right in the, right in the gut. Um, that star decreased, though. But yeah, but if, hey, if you, um, like the content, if you like the family that's around here, you like the personalities that are a part of a Perion, go ahead and subscribe. I mean, honestly, all the people that I've seen commenting... Like, nobody's had a nasty comment at all, which is awesome. Um, 
yeah, go ahead and subscribe. I try to put at least one video a day, sometimes two. Also, um, one thing before I go, please be sure to leave any suggestions that you have for the new zoo that I will be starting on the new year. Thank you all so much for watching. If you've watched all this all the way through, I greatly appreciate it. And I greatly appreciate you guys always listening to my thoughts that I have to give and agreeing with some of them. It's nice to hear that some people have the same opinions. But anyway, this is going to be Perrin, also known as Luke, signing off. Have yourselves a wonderful day.